Shall I start again? <laughs> Namaskar, everyone. <laughs> I indeed have a very special uh, connection with Rajasthan. Uh, I very much like uh, the Minister Lee uh, philosophy of education. This uh, Mukhi uh, Shiksha. So uh, when I was traveling yesterday in a car to this place, by the way, it's my third visit to Winston, not my second. <laughs> so then uh, I thought, which hat uh, am, am I going to uh, represent here? Butsor? Yes, a bit of Butsor, because I'm an advisor for Butsor, uh, for the uh, supervisory board as well, for the founder. Uh, the second is uh, Brown Group, uh, where we do consultancy work. Uh, the third is Nairaude University. The fourth is Venestel, uh, Omrise Research Group. And the fifth then, suddenly it came to me, yes, of course, uh, I feel so connected to Rajasthan. Uh, I remember um, in 2009 when I was traveling uh, to this part of the country, because probably this is my 20th visit to India. Um, I thought it's like um, Bharat Mata is welcome, uh, welcoming me in a very special way and giving me a blanket for the cold days in Holland. And uh, that association I always uh, keep, even if it's warm here, I feel like very blessed going back and then uh, being nourished and come back. And, uh, try to connect. So I would like everyone uh, to see this uh, conference in the spirit of that connectedness, uh, bringing several kinds of perspectives, East, West, because if you ask me, are you, uh, how do you see yourself? Are you Surinamese? I would say no. Uh, are you Indian? No. Are you Dutch? No. Then. What else? I would like to say, uh, you know, it's so hard to say who you are, but if you recall uh, that, okay, what is actually my driving force, then it's, it's, it's yourself, the inner self, which guides you. And if we talk about such a conference of integrating simplification, and I'm very, very thankful to Bernestali for giving me this opportunity because it's a new concept. And introducing any new concept in academia is one of the toughest things. So having this uh, atmosphere here, having this team of people working or willing to work on this topic, I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, I started this topic of integrating simplification not intentionally. Uh, it emerged. Um, my association uh, with academia uh, indeed uh, started many years back. Uh, coming from psychology, moving to economics, doing a lot of research, being connected to business uh, closely, uh, because the type of research we do is very much for the business, by the business, you know. Um, so I felt that uh, there should be some more connection, some more integrativeness. Um, then someone, uh, an entrepreneur, uh, connected me to Bürtzorg. Bürtzorg, by the way, is a Dutch word. It, if you translate it, Bürt is neighbor, neighborhood, Zorg is care. Bürtzorg, Nederland. Uh, I was introduced uh, uh, to uh, the CEO, Jos de Blok, in 2011. And uh, there was a very good uh, match in, in, in vision and thoughts. And then I have been following them just as you know, being very much interested in what they were doing. And so I was asked to, to do some research. So I said, uh, you know, I know so many theories in management, so many theories in entrepreneurship, but if this is indeed a, a, a new kind of management practice, then I should try to forget that, uh, what I know. I should really uh, have a, inductive approach for those who are very familiar with research. It's very close to actually the work uh, Dr. Ankur Joshi is doing, Dr. Windlish, uh, Windlish is doing on global fundamental research. I had to uh, socially uh, reprogram myself that, okay, what is happening here? Uh, from that perspective, I followed the classical grounded theory, which gave me a lot of 
freedom to, to make observations, to be in, a, in that uh, a company for two years very closely in, in different kinds of settings. And then this concept emerged. And you know, uh, I, I was actually every word I wrote in that book uh, proceeded with deep meditation. It's, I can tell it here in such a community because I felt that I wanted to be very pure to the source, what is happening instead of being too much, you know, uh, uh, so socially in a certain uh, stream of thinking. So then uh, integrated simplification emerged as a pattern of organizing. And when I talked uh, to Jos de Bloch, uh, CEO of Butzer, he said, yes, that is what it is about. So I was very happy. And then after uh, making the publication, so I, ha I gave some interviews and someone was asking me, why integration? then it appeared to me that this is also my life pattern. Uh, so uh, simplification, integration is actually a natural way of doing things. Uh, we were having a breakfast and uh, talking about, you know, is simplification doing everything in a simple way? Yes and no. Because if you look at it, uh, if we follow our natural tendency, which is very close to our inner self, then it is really simple. Then it is a simple thing. But because we are so much programmed in all kinds of institutions, in all kinds of bureaucracies, in all kinds of rules and regulations around us, it becomes very difficult to cope with that natural being. So that makes it difficult. So um, on behalf of Joste Block, who can't be here, uh, we have prepared some video, and I would like to spend some time showing those videos. I would like to uh, go through three questions, actually. Where did it come from? Integrated simplification, brief discussion, or uh, brief presentation I already gave. What is it? I would go to that uh, more deeper. And then, uh, how is it being practiced at Butzor? Um, you know, and I think also the time is very right now to rethink a lot on management. Uh, we will launch a, a book uh, which is based on this con uh, concept of FUCA, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. Uh, so management scholars are rethinking their position. If you look at what is management doing, actually they are only copy and pasting, uh, I feel. Uh, most of them, uh, copying psychology theories. Uh, there has been a, a, a review study in uh, academic uh, management review, looking at 40 years of management, and what is it that they are doing? Actually, uh, the, most of the theories are uh, taken from psychology, uh, which we are developed 40 years back, and also uh, from economics, which we are mainly developed 30 years back. So there is not much new. So for me, uh, when I started to, to do my research, I thought there is something, we need something new. Uh, and uh, so when integrating simplification emerged, I had this wish that I, I, I would like to develop this as a kind of a new theory. And of course, you need to have many more of these kinds of research to see whether it is a pattern that can be used in, 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 as a kind of theory. And I was very happy when uh, uh, Bonici uh, introduced me to Bernastelli because that was the connection I was looking for. I was separately doing research on spirituality. A lot uh, of my work has been inspired by Sri Aurobindo's work. Uh, and I thought uh, there is still something missing. Um, so. In my discussions with Butzor, I introduced uh, some co Indian concepts, and it was just the blog who said, actually, every time I talk to you, you bring something new. Um, and for me, it was not something new, but then I realized that this is my role, probably, kind of building some bridge between uh, some Eastern philosophies and, and some Western concepts. And I, I, I don't want to claim I, I know a lot about Indian philosophy. Those things which I'm talking about um, are very close to me, uh, as uh, you may call it embodied knowing. 
So I don't know much about scriptures. Uh, I only know that those techniques uh, which I have been introduced to, uh, sometimes directly uh, from gurus, sometimes uh, from books, uh, I always practice themselves to feel whether it is fitting or not. And I, I must say there is always a common ground. Uh, there is not one technique which is uh, best for you. It's, it depends on the stage, your, 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 the stage of your life. Um, so, but everyone has this natural tendency uh, to connect to the inner self. And by doing that, you, you will come up with your own pattern, your own guide, internal guide. And in, in my connection with this Om Rice research group, what I would like to do is this connection with uh, Indian philosophy, Western thoughts, and trying to see how we can, uh, in, in, in a natural way, integrate and bring it uh, further in, in, in any kind of context, not only for in India, but also uh, in different parts of the world. So, uh, is the video ready? Yes? Okay. How do we do it? Dear friends, this is Jos de Blok from Holland and I'm very sorry that I can't participate in the conference today about integrating simplification. Um, as you perhaps know, I have had a heart attack a few weeks ago and my doctors uh, think, thought it wouldn't be wise to, uh, to have this traveling at this moment. I hope I will come back uh, to Banastali and uh, some months. I hope you will enjoy the presentation of uh, Shada Nandram, my friend, and she uh, will introduce uh, the way of working of Buurtzorg. Uh, and I hope you, have an, you enjoy the day, uh, you have a lot of new insights, and you share your ideas and your um, views on the future with each other, so that we can build on sustainable organizations. Thank you very much.